You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, ready to check out the Spooky Nights Pumpkin Wooden Decorating Kit. I believe this is going to start off Halloween 2024. Now, somehow I ended up with five of these kits. They were on clearance last year, so you will probably not find this unless they're reselling them or they had inventory left over. I do know that Aldi is where we got this, and they have newer versions, updated versions. So if you like it, that's where you can go find it. Now, I have the Shark and four other ones, which I'll probably show you at the end. Now, it took me a while. I had to study this to say how big of a pumpkin. It doesn't say anywhere on the box how big of a pumpkin. It says ages three plus, two bright bottles of waterproof paint included. Now, they show you everything that's in it, but nowhere does it say. Maybe on the instructions. Maybe you got to buy it first, then open it, then look. It should say right on the box, you need a blank and blank pumpkin. And I know it's about six to eight inches. I'll show you how I figured that out. Now, uh, you'll get seven wooden pieces, seven push-in sticks, two bottles of waterproof paint, one foam paintbrush, and instructions. So basically, all of the wood pieces appear to be super glossy and highly detailed. And then the little wooden sticks you'll see in the left side. Here, let me give you a close-up so you can see what I'm looking at. I see the little wooden sticks here. I don't see any holes in the uh, wood pieces. They don't show a hole here where you'd push it in or there. I don't see it. Maybe they're there and they're just not in the artwork. Either way, I need to get this out of the box, but I will show you how I surmised the size of pumpkin and then you could see, hmm, I think he's right. Here, I'll show you right now. This box here. Now there was the wooden ones and there's these craft ones. Now I looked at the craft one and right here they showed two bottles of the paint next to a pumpkin. So it looks to be about two pumpkin, I mean two bottles tall. So I had to open this one and I took a bottle, I measured it and I figured two was about eight inches or so, four and four, I think that's what it was. So something a little bit smaller than that. So I had to buy five pumpkins shorter than that, which is about a six to eight inch pumpkin. So that's the first one I'm going to use. All right, let me get this stuff out of the way, come back and we'll check out all the pieces. All right, so the shark does look pretty scary. Uh, and it looks like, yeah, the pieces are just stuck in there. It looks like the little shark fin on the top is in front of the stem of the pumpkin for ages three plus. All right, let's see. I'm excited to see. I did not open these up, so I really don't know, except for that one. Okay, all right, so they're not super glossy, but they are a decent uh, thickness wood. All right, and there's two bottles. Fortunately, they're the same size as the bottles in that other kit. I was thinking, hmm, maybe the wooden ones have smaller pumpkins, but no, you get two nice bottles. And then you have one foam brush, your instructions. Maybe it says in here, getting started. Before you gather here, you will need a few supplies. Yeah, one pumpkin. Does not tell you the size. Okay, it's a one sheet instruction. All right. I'll read that a little bit more as I move along here and try to figure out what's going on. All right, and then here are the wood pieces. And they do smell like wood. All right, so that's a nice looking piece. It's well finished. And there's a hole on the back of that. Okay, so a hole there. So there is holes on these. There's, oh, there they are. Oh, so these are flat. They kind of show them on the side sticking out. But that is, that would be, that would be incorrect because the stick goes this way. So they're, maybe you got to angle them on the front. And then the eyeballs. And there's your little wood sticks. And then, so this is the top piece that's supposed to cover the stem. See? Now that would be a little pumpkin if it's covering that whole stem from what they show there to there. Well, you know, let's not dwell on it. Let me set up uh, my cutting board or one of my boards that I don't mind getting paint on, even though it's waterproof. What's that number? A-P-P-L-L-C, I have no idea. All right, so we've seen it all. You know, you're gonna put this on as its mouth. This is the bottom, then this is gonna go on the back. And then these are going to go here, and then you're going to give them his eyes, and then you're going to put that up there. So that's kind of the layout on the pumpkin, right? All right, let me come back. Let me get ready to paint this up. It is a foam brush. It should make quick work of it. We shall see. 
Okay, so it said I needed a cup of water. I got a bowl and then some paper towels and then a surface to work on where you will not hurt the surface or get paint on things that you don't want to get it on. Now I was reading this, it was slightly confusing. Let's see. It says start by using a paper towel to wipe down the pumpkin. Now this has been wash and it says not included. Removing any dust or dirt from the surface before applying paint. Now add some color to your pumpkin, not included using the paints and brush included in this kit. Allow the pumpkin to fully dry for two to three hours before handling. Remove any excess paint by sweeping the brush across cloth or paper towel. Rinse the brush. Okay, so that's about cleaning. So what does that mean? Now add some color to your pumpkin, not included. Hmm, I don't know. Let's just, uh, I'm guessing you would just, you know, put a bunch on there. Why would you want to it doesn't say how to get it onto the brush. I'm assuming now, since it's got the, since it's stuck to my finger, and I've already got blue on my hand, oh well. Expect to get paint on you, that you would just plop it on? I don't know. Make it easier, wouldn't it? Oh, 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 that's pretty. Pretty blue. Let's just see. Mm-hmm. Now, how detailed are you going to get? Now, when you do that, you can see through the orange. So it doesn't say, you know, two or three colors or coats. You might have to if you want to completely cover the pumpkin. What do you think? I don't know. Oh, I was going to show you. Now, uh... I've mentioned Mrs. Elpia, she does a lot of searching for me. So she sent me this picture showing me all of the different sets that are available now. There's this little dragon looking creature, other stuff when she's out shopping. Do you need that for a video? Uh, so they're out there, different sets. If you go to Aldi, that's where she was at. Oh man, I dropped a big drop on my tabletop. Okay. I need to see how easy that cleans. Hold on a second. I'm cleaning now on the bottom edge of my table down here. See all that? All the blue I've already gotten. Let's just do a test. Okay, comes right off. No problem. Comes off your fingers. No problem. Oh boy. Already making a mess. Oh well. That's the fun of decorating, right? Oh, I like those little scars. And look, that big gash. Maybe we'll put that so we could see it. I don't know where the mouth is going to go. I think one coat is not going to be enough. You see how beautifully blue theirs was on the box? That was definitely not done in one coat. Even if I try to put it on super thick, it brushes off and the pumpkin is slick, right? Now this is three plus, so a three year old's probably just gonna go nuts. Yeah, we'll get the bottom. Even though it's gonna come off on my my board. All right, so I think what I should do is just let this sit in one of uh, a couple of my fans. I'll get some fans. I think I do want to go this way though. Let this dry. Although it do it do it do have a cool look. It's very dark. Let me give you a side shot here. See if you could see. It's still orangey. Maybe it's the lighting. Let me move a light in just to kind of see that light doesn't move in too hot. This one here. And then I'll bring the light down. A little bright, but you could still see the orange through the blue. All right, I'm going to have to let this sit. It can't be three hours. Such a thin coat. Well, we won't know till we try. So let me do that. I'll let you know how long this takes before I can touch it. 
Okay, so wipe off. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to wet my paper towel like if I was using a real paintbrush. I'm going to leave it to keep it moist. Keep that paint on there. And then I'm going to put my fans on this and we'll see how long this takes to dry. Okay, so I'm at 38 seconds, just showing you that I have just set up my stopwatch. I have two of my fans going. I have one pointing here and one pointing here. And just this one's really close. Still, of course, moist, but I will check back every, say, five to ten minutes and see how long this really takes. Maybe I'll give them a little turn because it's thicker. You see how it's thicker here? Now, I probably could thin out those areas while I see them, and that'll aid in the process. A couple more here. Now that I see it, now that I'm actually... Now I left the box in the background. You see the box? You see how blue this looks compared to my pumpkin? It's not there. So maybe three coats. I really don't know. But it'll help me for all the other videos. And I'll know exactly what I need to do and how long it will take. So this is a experiment number one, I guess. All right, I'll be back. Enough talking. Okay, so as we can see, it's been uh, less than uh, 15 minutes. I got sidetracked, came back, and look. I would say this is all dry except for a couple spots where it was on thicker. So I think in a minute or two I'll put another coat on and I'll just be more attentive to making sure I don't glob it up. Okay, fans off. We don't want that noise in the background. Ooh, much quieter. All right, so let's do this again. I don't know why I wanted to take the lid off. It's about half of the first bottle. So there's plenty. It's just... How many coaches is it going to take to get it like the box? We shall see if it's even possible. Okay, coat two now. Yeah, it's probably going to take three coats, 15 minutes of coat. So you've got a good, what is that, 45 minutes of painting to get it the way the box looks. I mean, you could probably leave it at coat two now that I look at it, but I'm going to do three just to know going forward. And I feel like I'm going thicker. I don't know why. Or it's going on better. It's not as slick, you know, when it was. Uh... And it looks better, doesn't it? Okay, I don't know if I can do three. You know what? Probably should just do three on the front where all of the accent pieces are. What do you think? I won't do the bottom so I don't lose any paint there. Because that's a whole bottle now. One coat and say half the pumpkin. So that means it's going to take another half bottle and I'll have a half bottle to do touch-ups on the front. I wonder if I should leave the fan on so this is drying. Okay, hopefully you don't mind a little ambient noise in the background. That's going to be my two fans. I'm going to leave this one upside down and I'm going to open this one. There's no doubt you're going to get paint on yourself and your countertop. No matter how hard you try, I wonder what front I'm going to use. I'll probably use this for the front. Kind of looks, well, yeah, because I won't be, even though I like that scar, the way the pumpkin lays out. You know how when you're decorating a pumpkin, you always look at how the pumpkin's going to lay out. Well, I think it's going to lay out this way. So let's call this the front. And then I'll make sure. I'm going to move some of this to this, and then I'll go around and make sure I hit this side better. I 
Okay, so that's the front. Let me just do this. Do, 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 do. It's kind of a fun project. If you're not into actually carving and saving the seeds, uh, which there are probably not many on these small pumpkin pumpkin pumpkins. <laughs> okay, I'm good with that. It's looking much bluer. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry. It's hard to get in all the little nooks and crannies with this, so I'm gonna have to just hit the stem. They don't show you cutting the stem off, see? They show the stem on there, and then that little tiny tip will not cover <laughs> the stem at all. I'm gonna leave it on just for, it's easier to carry. All right, so let's let this dry. Happy with that. I think one more coat, thick coat on the front, will have a perfectly blue pumpkin. Okay, front again. All right, and one more coat. All right, so I'm checking in 10 minutes in spots it's dry, like down there, maybe a little tacky, but I would be able to get another coat on. And then up here, yeah, definitely still wet. So let's see, maybe it's in that last five minutes. Well, I decided to do the bottom because when I was sitting down, I could see that bottom edge and I did not like the orange. So I'm trying to catch up here, put two coats on this and then I will come back and do one more coat over the entire pumpkin. I think I have enough, as much as I can. How about that? All right, for this last coat, I decided I'm just gonna see if I can find some Halloween music to put on so I am not going to talk anymore but I did notice that when I laid it down on its side it does peel off so we'll have to check into that a little bit more let me just get this last coat of paint on and even though I kind of like the way it looks as you can see the colors underneath it's pretty neat the way it is I'm going to do three coats at least on the first one so that we know how it covers and maybe I'll just leave it on the other ones but here we go I'm going to finish painting <laughs>
All right, I am set uh, reading, which is what I was doing and why you see everything somewhat organized down there. It says, step two, use the image below as a guide for decorating your pumpkin. Arrange all of the pieces in front of you to lay out your design before adding any pieces to the pumpkin. Be sure to position each piece one at a time as you are decorating. Place a push-in stick into the existing holes behind each wooden piece. Position the piece in the desired area on the pumpkin. Then use slight pressure to puncture the pumpkin with the wooden push-in. Continue to slowly push the wooden piece into the pumpkin until the decoration stays in place. Repeat the step for the remaining wooden pieces until your pumpkin is fully decorated. Okay, so that's where we're at. Ooh, and right there it does say, exclusively by Aldi Inc. So now, well, a couple things. One, the paint is peeling off in spots. If you, it was stuck to the bottom uh, where I had touched that up and then put it down, remember that? And then it, it peeled up and then the paint came off. So you have to be really careful with the paint. It'll just peel. It's almost like a skin. Maybe at the end I will peel a couple pumpkins and see how it comes off so that you can see what I'm saying. But let's uh, let's extract these from the little tiny bag. They are like like they are little toothpicks, but smaller than a toothpick. I just want to see how they fit in. Okay, so they fit in snug. Let's do this. Let's get one on each so that I'm just ready to ready to go. I had a feeling that maybe these might be a little difficult on some of them. Okay, because wood, you know, does expand. Like that one. So it does take pressure. Now, like these. These, they show like this. That's why I had them that way. So I probably want to stick it in there once I determine which way I want these to go. This is my top piece. So I'll leave that there. We'll move the eyeballs. This goes in back here. Fits real snug. And then the tail they show somewhere like there. Now I've determined, remember this is my front, so I would angle this in and we'll just try it. Here we go. The first, well let's get this out of here. I'm not going to use that as my guide. And then I will take all the pieces and we'll get this closer so you can see. I gotta keep the location in check. So right about here, here we go. Okay, that's the one you're looking at. It that looks like it's from the back. Okay, and then so this one going down, going down. No, okay, so this one maybe a little lower down here. I'm afraid I'm gonna break one of these. Okay, there's one, and then this one coming in down here. Okay, there we go. I think it's working. And then let's put on the big shark face. Okay, here we go. All right. Didn't I have that feeling? Okay, so now let me ex somehow extract that. Let me grab a tweezers, see if I can get that little piece out. I was thinking that was going to happen. All right, so I've got my pointiest tweezers and see if this will come out. No. Now if I was doing this as a kid, I'd be very upset at this point, wouldn't you? You would think. Okay, so that won't work. Next option, maybe just taking a push pin. Let me grab some more tools. All right. You know, I guess this stuff's gonna happen, so you just kinda, kinda work. But I was thinking maybe if I push this in the middle, I can dig it out. I mean, I'd have to get a drill bit to do this. Ooh, some of that came out. Let's grab a different kind of tweezers. Got it. All right, what I think they should say is that poke a little hole first where you want it. So now we know I need a hole right about here. Let's just take that, okay? So now that's been poked in, 
nostrils go up. The other pieces were easier because they're more stable, I guess you could say. Oh, look at him. He's looking scary. Okay, so is there a left or a right eye? This is the left. All right, I'm just going to do it without. It can be a little snug. I guess you could just poke them out, too. You don't have to push them all the way in. It's up to you. There should probably have been a couple on the face, though. See? I'm afraid I'm going to break it again. Let's just go right where I was about to go. Okay, the eyes are slightly poking out. And then, now, yeah, that one needs to go in. Let's give me a weird shadow. A little bit more. Okay. I remember this was on the top, and this was going to be hard to push in. It's supposed to cover that stem, but I might get a bigger... Here, I'll just use one of my tweezers. There. It looks more like a horn. <laughs> it's funny looking. Let's get the box. Oh, he's so adorable. Now, uh, well, it's close to the box. They have the mouth up higher and the eyes closer. But, you know, it is where it is now. I've got to keep it. But I would say, generally speaking, I think what I'm going to do is I'll hold this off to the side. And then once I get all five videos done over the course of a week or so, I'll just put them all in one at a time show you each one. Well, there you go. Spooky Nights. Did we do it? Did I match the box? I'd say pretty close. So you could cut that stem off if you want. You can still carve the pumpkin, I think, if you want. And get all the guts out and save the seeds. That is your option. I think what I'm going to do next is the spider. So that is, you see, a crafting one. And then I have another wood one, which is a, a unicorn. Okay. And then I'll go to another fabric one. The crafting one, I mean. And I'll end the series with this one here. I don't know what that is. It's a fish. Some weird, maybe it's a mermaid, I don't know. Okay, so let me put these in order. That one, that one, this one, and then this one. Now I know. Okay, so the spider's next. This way we could check out a crafting kit, paint another pumpkin, see how that goes. And I will continue on, make this kind of like a little mini-series amongst all of the other candies that I have picked out this year. And thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.